Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. I want to go into West Farmers. It's been an incredible story since their October low last year to where we are now. Really, really massive drive up in the price. The question you've got to ask, is that down to multiple expansion or because of earnings? And that I think is where we need to look at this because probably if you break it down over 100% pie, 75% of it's down to multiple expansion and 25% has been down to earnings. Earnings have been good. I want to point that out very clearly. They've grown quite neatly during what is and should have been quite a tricky period for what is a big conglomerate, but basically mainly retail exposed product. Bunnings, first and foremost, what an incredible operation it is. It continues to monster all and four before it, for all good reason. It's always had a premium, and even versus peers, if you look overseas into players like Lowe's and those kind of players over in the States, Bunnings has always demanded a premium to even those kinds of players. It's always traded about 26 times, but under current numbers and current metrics, it's trading at 31, and it sort of, even by West Farmers' historical standards, that is on the upper end. You then look at something like Kmart and what's going on inside them. The consolidation of Target, also now putting Officeworks inside it as well, has definitely worked. Consolidating, streamlining management, great. Big tick of approval. But it too is basically expanded from multiples rather than earnings and it's gone from a historical average of about 16 to 18 times and it's now into the mid 20s. And that is also catching people's attention. So we've got to then start looking forward because it, you then look at their hard and their heavy metals division, coal, etc. It's not really part of their overall brand, although it makes up about 10 to 15% of earnings. I don't want to go into it today because I want to go into the forward-looking estimates about what's going to actually impact West Farmers going forward. And that is clearly, you listen to somebody like James Hardy, renovations are slowing right down. That is absolute core market of Bunnings. Now, so far, that hasn't materialized in their numbers, but it could in FY25, and we're getting close to it. We have gone through 13 rate rises, and mostly of the time you've seen West Farmers consumers sort of buck the trend, but it has started to show signs of cracking up. That, I think, is part of this. Then you also then look into Kmart. Kmart is always a bellwether for how that consumer is going, and we know that there is change, that they are starting to shrink their bag size, shrink their overall consumption size. And with those two things in mind, with the price doing what it's done since October, you've got to probably ask the question, has West Farmers run its course in the short term? Multiple suggest it's possible. That doesn't mean historically that that will be the be all and end all for how West Farmers trades.